In this video, we will take a closer look at the GFS or grandfather father son rotation scheme, which is a excellent feature you will want to use for holding long term retention on your backups, whereas short term would typically be something measured in days. The GFS scheme can be used to keep certain restart points, a certain full, for example, for a certain amount of weeks, months, quarters, or even years. Let's go inside the lab and take a closer look at how it works. Inside the lab, let's go and create a new backup job. We'll create a virtual machine job right here. We'll use some vSphere. And we'll call it backup job with GFS. Click next. We'll have to add some workloads to our job. We'll go and pick something right here. Click add next. In the storage section here, we can already see we have a retention policy that says we want to keep, for example, seven restart points. But here we have our GFS option, keep certain full backups longer for archival purposes. However, before we can use this checkbox, it's very important to realize, as we can see here, and there's a little text, periodic fulls are not enabled in advanced settings. Notice as soon as I put this checkbox, we even have a little uh, warning here. So what is this about? Well, the fact is when you use GFS, it doesn't create new extra folds. It basically flags the folds that have already been created on disk. Now it can flag the one that we use for the normal uh, part of this chain. We need something that's producing new extra folds. So the way we get that done is by clicking on advanced. And we basically see we have our classic tree backup modes here reverse incremental. Now reverse incremental, technically you could enable active fools, but reverse incremental is just not supported at all, no matter what, when we talk about GFS. So your options are essentially incremental with either synthetic fools uh, and or active fools. So let's say here we create synthetic fools and we do that on Saturdays, for example, click OK. OK, so now we actually have a fool that will get created by the job will have some additional incrementals created by the job. Uh, if we, uh, whoops, we go over here, so that would be the seven ones. And then every Saturday we'll create a new full backup as a part of the normal chain. Now, if I want to keep that full, we create every Saturday for longer time, I could go in and say configure. So let's say, for example, I wanted to have a monthly full, and I could say that it use weekly full backup from the following week of a month. Okay, so which one is it that you want to keep? Because this is one per month and we're now creating a full every week. So it doesn't really matter, just pick one. I could say the first one or the last one. Okay, and how many of these do we want to keep on disk? Well, let's say you wanted a full year. We could basically set uh, 12 months. You don't have to keep this one up here unless you really want to keep additional weekly fulls. In this example here, I'll just say we want to keep the 12 months click OK, and that's basically it. We go through the job here, click Next. Of course, we want to have the job scheduled, click Apply, click Finish. Now, that was a backup job. What if we also wanted to do this on a copy job, or we wanted to do it instead on a copy job? OK, so let's say here, Backup Copy Job with PFS, and we could then go and either say Copy Mode, Immediate Copy, so notice this is basically just mirroring everything. So if we go and say add from jobs, and we'll pick our backup job with GFS. Okay, it will notice it said zero bytes here. That's because we didn't run the job before, so that's okay. And then we can go and say, okay, I also want to keep these for longer time on this destination. So the retention is the same. And what about these additional fulls? Uh, so again, I could go and say on this side here, I also want to keep 12 months, for example, if I'm looking to mirror on both sides. Uh, alternatively, you could set this up even if you didn't yet enable GFS on a primary job. So just to show you that, I could go here and take a job that didn't have GFS enabled. Click next. From jobs. So why don't we pick one of these other jobs, click OK, next. And we can see here, we can still go in and set up the GFS if we wanted to do that. 
very simple, very effective way to keep longer term retention, which is usually for archival purposes, a way it doesn't make sense to keep a incremental backup from every day for let's say one year, two year, three years, that would take up a awful lot of space. Here we get the ability to go back in time to certain points, typically for archival purposes. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.